Determinants are the values computed from the entries in a square matrix. It is a scalar. Learn how to solve determinants in different methods in this video. You are watching Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Solving the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is much simpler than the bigger size matrices. For a matrix with elements A, C, B, and D, the determinant will be solved with the diagonals. One starts from the top left of the matrix sliding down, in this case from A to D, and this is considered positive. We then subtract the opposite diagonal starting from the bottom left to the top right, in this case B times C. Let's take some examples. For matrix A with the following elements, the determinant will be computed as 2 times 0 minus 3 times negative 1. So by simplifying, the determinant of matrix A is positive 3. Another is matrix B. With similar procedure, we start with 5 times 6 minus 4 times 1, computed as 30 less 4, or that would be simplified as positive 26. Starting with the 3x3 three three matrix and those bigger ones, there are numerous methods which can be employed. The general method is also known as Laplace expansion and this determines the determinant by using cofactors or the minors of the matrix. Take matrix A with the following elements. In Laplace expansion, you can use a pivot row or column. In this case, we use the first row with elements A, B, and C. The expansion starts by taking the first element of the row multiplied by its cofactor and then take the second element and again multiply it with the cofactor and the third with its corresponding minor. Take note that the signs of the terms are interchanging like how we work with cofactor matrix. When taking the cofactors, the diagonals are again considered, one positive and another negative. For example, Find the determinant of the matrix using Laplace expansion. In this example, we take the first row as the pivot row. So, we start with the first term as A11 or positive 1 multiplied by the minors 1, 2, 2, and 1. Next, move to element 1, 2 and it turns as negative of the element and that is 0 multiplied by minor containing 2, 2, 1, and 1. Lastly, take element 1, 3 with the last term as positive 1 multiplied by the determinant of 2, 1, 1, and 2. So solve the subdeterminants which would then be 1 times the determinant from 1 times 1 less 2 times 2. The second term can be taken as 0 as the determinant is multiplied by the element which is 0. The third term is taken as 1 times the quantity of 2 times 2 minus 1 times 1. And simplifying the three terms, we come up with 1 times negative 3 less 0 plus 1 times 3, which then can be computed as 0. If we choose to take the second row as the pivot row, and the first term can be considered as the negative of the element itself, or that is negative 2 multiplied by the minor. The second term will be positive 1 multiplied by the determinant of the elements 1, 1, 1, and 1. Finally, the third term is taken as negative 2 times the determinant of 1, 0, 1, and 2. And again, expand the determinants, which can then be taken as negative 2 times negative 2 plus 1 times 0 less 2 times 2. And again, we get the determinant of matrix A as 0. 
in case one wanted to work with the third row, start with positive one times the remaining determinant. The second term is done similarly, which would have negative two times the determinant of one, one, two, and two. The third term is computed just the same, giving the expression of positive one times the determinant of the minor. Expand the determinants, which shows one times the quantity of zero times two minus one times one, minus two times the quantity of one times two minus one times two, plus one times another quantity of one times one minus two times zero. This can then be simplified as negative 1 minus 0 plus 1, which shows that matrix A is 0. Again, columns can also be used as the pivot to take determinants in Laplace expansion. The other method is much shorter than Laplace expansion. However, it might be trickier. The butterfly method is done using diagonals, but it will consider all elements. In this procedure, take the positives as diagonals going down, and in this case, they will be A times E times I plus B times F times G and C times H times D. Take the negatives too from the opposite diagonals, which are counted as G times E times C, another from A times H times F, and lastly, B times D times I. The determinant of the matrix is taken as the summation of the positives and the negatives, or we can say positive minus negative. With the same example earlier, find the determinant of the matrix using the butterfly method. First, take the positive as 1 times 1 times 1 plus 0 times 2 times 1 and 1 times 2 times 2. Simplify the expression as 1 plus 0 plus 4, which is then further taken as positive 5. Now, consider the negatives as 1 times 1 times 1, 0 times 2 times 1, and 1 times 2 times 2. And they can be solved as negative 1 minus 0 minus 4, which results to negative 5. Thus, matrix A is computed as 5 take away 5 or 0. The next method, known as Saris method, modifies the butterfly method. In this procedure, one has to mirror the first two columns of the matrix and then draw out the positive diagonals. In the same matrix A, you will notice that it is clear to draw out the elements from the three diagonals, which are the same as A, E, I, B, F, G, and C, D, and H. The negatives are solved in the same pattern, giving you the expression G times E times C, H times F times A, and I times D times B. Note that both positive and negative expressions come up to be the same with those in the butterfly method. And again, the determinant of matrix A will be taken as positives minus negatives. Find the determinant of the matrix using Saris method. The diagonals are taken clearly in this method, so the positives will still be taken as 1 times 1 times 1, 0 times 2 times 1, and 1 times 2 times 2. Simplify the terms and it gives the same value as positive 5. The negatives diagonals will also be simpler to draw out, giving the expression 1 times 1 times 1, 2 times 2 times 1, and 1 times 2 times 0, which also gives the value of negative 5. 
and then the determinant of matrix A will still be computed as 5 less 5, or that would still be 0. From this video, we discuss the most common methods in solving for the determinant of the matrix, and they are Laplace expansion, butterfly method, and Saris method. Converting to raw echelon form is also a method to simplify the matrix, which can draw the determinant easily. Other methods are Chiyo's pivotal condensation method and Jibami's method, both are used for bigger matrices.